and once we will move to this mapping option so as here you can see it has divided your variable into three forms so you can see here your source node and I mean you need to drop your dimension here and then we have target node and then we have size so if I drop my source code here target area is here and you can see once I will click on the target area so automatically there will be one chord diagram and if we want to categorize our color on the basis of the millions of persons so we can try and other data graphs for this same data we can go with alluvial diagram and similarly we can go with source area and we can go with million size people we can go with target area so you can see our alluvial graph is ready welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will introduce another data visualization tool that is raw graphs and in fact raw graphs works much better than sr plot and g plot as it do not require any login and raw graph is actually an open source data visualization framework built with goal of making the visual representation of complex data very easy for everyone and it has been developed by density region research lab calibro and in magic collaboration and once you will go to the rawgraphs.io so you can simply click it on use it now so once you will click on the use it now you will land on this page and here you can upload your data whether you want to paste your data you have the different option like you can copy and paste your data from other applications and this data can be in the form of tsv csv or dsv or even the json data format and if you have anything to upload from your computer or there is any file which you have saved in your local system so you can also browse and if you want to data samples i mean those samples which have already been uploaded as samples from the raw graphs team so you can also use uh, their sample so as here you can see and they have also mentioned the specific graph type like if you want to to draw sunburst diagram sankey diagram chord diagram and many more so you can choose any sample data as well and if you have any spark ql and node query so you can also run your query as a well here and if you have any web address to, to fetch data from any api so you can also go through this uh, url option and if you have already saved your project so you can also go with this so they will not store your data so your data is totally safe if you want to try raw graph so without further ado let me show you one example so here i have copied one data from one of the examples so as here you can see we have uh, source area then we have target area and then we have millions of persons so let me just copy all this data and we can simply paste this and we can try some different graphs so once you will paste your data so you can see it will automatically categorize and you can choose the column separator whether it is tab semicolon comma or pipe whatever suitable data format you have in your file so you can select so here we have three columns now and as here you can see we have one green message i mean there are 35 rows 105 cells and have been successfully parsed so this is in all green so it means our data is in good format you can see here we have the different options like starting from alluvial diagram arc diagram bar chart and multi set bar chart and box plot chord diagram and pie chart and many more so if you can see once we have pasted our data it has automatically chosen this alluvial diagram as best 
data graph for this although the selection of graph for your data set can be little tricky but i mean uh, alluvial because it will just draw your all the uh, data set points and if let me draw the code diagram from using this data and once we will move to this mapping option so as here you can see it has divided your variable into three forms so you can see here your source node and I mean you need to drop your dimension here and then we have target node and then we have size. So if I drop my source code here target area is here and you can see once I will click on the target area so automatically there will be one code diagram and if we want to categorize our color on the basis of the millions of persons so you can see now we have all the data ready in the form of code diagram and if you want to customize your artboard so you can maybe like change the size of that artboard according to your need and from your top margin like in this example you can see our text is little missing from the upper border so let me do it like 100 or even we can go with 150 so similarly if you can see we have actually the space on right and left margin so i can little decrease this one and uh, this one but you can see our actually the bottom margin is just cropping our text so maybe we can go with 100 or similarly we can go with 150 so similarly you can also choose the charts value like you if you want to adjust the ring width you can adjust the chords padding you can adjust source inner padding and similarly you can adjust the color as well and here are the different color options if you want to choose and here we have the labels option and lastly if you want to export your data in the form of svg that is the standard vector graphics png jpg or even the raster graphics you can download so let me for this example i can download it in the form of maybe png so you can see here our file is ready to download and you can see here we have our code diagram ready so we can try another data graphs for this same data we can go with alluvial diagram and similarly we can go with source area and we can go with million size people we can go with target area so you can see our alluvial graph is ready so i will recommend you you can also try your favorite graph and types so if you have any question related to the use of this raw graphs please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye